There's one thing about Central Texas. We have these cycles and it's usually a flood to drought cycle. And so we know right now we're kind of in a flood cycle, but we know what's coming next, right? So uh, we just want to make sure that we're prepared for our wildland fire. Today we were having an interagency cooperative sort of orientation for the local fire departments. These emergency responders need to know how to work with the aviation resources so they can best utilize them. Really it's just familiarization of the different aircraft, um, how they operate, how they can be activated, what capabilities they bring, how to communicate with the air crews, how to coordinate drops, those kinds of things. Helicopters are very maneuverable and we can drop the water in a variety of ways, either you know, in a stationary type direct drop or we can um, do a trail of water. It's definitely the shortest, fastest route to the fire and you do get to do a reconnaissance lap or two around the fire before you set down and deploy your resources. So it gives you a really good idea of what you're fixing to attack. The last 100, 150 feet of your drop, it wouldn't left anything left in the tank, but you were still dumping and you were gaining altitude. I wouldn't say it's nerve wracking. We train a tremendous amount on safety and protocols and that's part of what we were doing today. So we're prepared when we go. Personally, yeah, I just find it very gratifying to know that we're able to get resources in very quickly and save lives and property in Texas.